Hey VC, how you doing uh, tonight? It's Travis here. Oh man, it's been a long week and it's just getting started. <laughs> it's like I got a one day off out of two weeks and it's just, it's getting to be long. Um, it's 10 o'clock, eh, it's almost 11 o'clock here. Uh, I just got off for a little stint for the weekend. Off for the night, a little bit of a break. Back at it tomorrow. My next day off, it'll be next Friday, so. Um, I don't know, I, for those of you that um, haven't watched any of my other videos, I, I work at home, I work at IT. Um, I've worked for this company for about 10 years now. Uh, from home, I like it. It's pretty good, it's a good job. But there are times when it is extremely busy, and this weekend is one of those. It's just non-stop. Um, I won't say where I work for, but I work for a big entertainment company, and if you know anything about what's going on this weekend, it, it involves that. So, needless to say, it is slammed. But we're almost done with it. It's going to turn out pretty good. just means more bonus money for next year. So... But uh, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of hours and it's, I'm glad it's going to be over with pretty soon. Um, so I helped out for five hours tonight even though today's normally my day off. But uh, today and tomorrow I'll do the same thing just to give them a hand. Um, and then I just have the evening to relax. Um, I just thought I'd just come on. We're just, I'm just going to talk about a few things. I'm not really going to show any records. I'm just going to talk about some of the channels I watch and uh, some of the people I interact with on um, YouTube and the vinyl community. Uh, but I will show what we're listening to. Uh, God gets a lot of flack for some reason in the vinyl community. I don't know why. I love Louis Armstrong. That's what we're listening to right now. Louis Armstrong and his All Stars. Um, I believe this is all in Spain, somewhere overseas. I'm, I think it's Spain. This is a really good album. I love this. You know, when I just want to just sit down and listen, I mean, this is good stuff. And I don't, I know there's a lot of people, uh, I don't know, they beg on Louis Armstrong for being too into the pop and... Uh, you know, but yeah, you know, if you didn't have Louis Armstrong, I, I don't think jazz would be where it is today. He made, he was one of the key people in making jazz popular, and that's in my opinion anyway. And so I like Louis, and when I see the albums out there, I pick them up. So uh, I haven't gotten one yet that I don't like. So that's what we're listening to tonight. But we're not going to talk about uh, records. I just don't feel like talking about records tonight. Uh, I've been uh, watching some few a uh, few channels, and <laughs> I just thought it'd be uh, I'd like to comment on uh, on some of the channels that I like and I watch, um, and why. Um, and, you know, I'm sure I watch a lot of the same ones that everybody else does. Now, I'm just gonna run through a list, and if I don't mention you, it doesn't mean I don't watch your channel. I watch I <laughs> more channels. Then I really should. I mean, I, I basically don't watch TV anymore. I, I'm usually flipping through. I have several YouTube accounts, and I try and keep all my vinyl-related ones on one on this particular channel, so I can keep them separated. And then I have some other channels that uh, are just more like normal stuff, and uh, there's some family-related uh, stuff on there, and I just keep that one for that. But I, I, just to give you an idea, that <laughs> on one of my other channels, some of the some of the channels I watch, and this is how. YouTube crazy I am I there's a couple channels I watch that are nothing but guys that are doing lawnmower you know they mowing people's yards but that's funny because they have stories and they talk about <laughs> as they're doing it I don't know why that is but that's just one of the things you know what we find is interesting and entertaining might be totally crazy and off the wall to some other people and then there's probably a bunch of people that well how could you sit around and talk about records I mean it's What's the fun in that? Well, we all get it. Some people don't, but we all understand that. And it is it is enjoyable uh, learning about different music and different artists and uh, bands you've never heard of before. 
Uh, some of them recommend it to you and you're like, this sucks. And then others, you're like, I don't know about that, but then you listen to it and say, wow, how come I've never heard this before? Why didn't I try that before? Um, and that's the one thing I do like about the vinyl community because there are so many different varieties and styles of channels that you can get entertainment or get information from depending on what you want to do. There's definitely channels on the vinyl community that, that I watch specifically for the content and their knowledge about the records not so much the entertainment value because some people are just they show really good records and they talk about them but they're it's about dry as the Sahara Desert otherwise and then there's other people that have pretty much nothing to contribute to the vinyl community but are hilarious to me and I just watch purely for entertainment so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna like uh Anyway, I'm just gonna mention some of the, the popular ones that I watch. I gotta go through my list because I have so many. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna pick a couple of them that I just like. Uh, some of the first people that I started watching um, were uh, um, Andrew Tilson, the, the, the crate, um, which, and I think the reason why is because he puts a lot of his videos on late at night when, when I'm working or it's slowing down and there's nothing to do. I'm just waiting for the clock to run out. So they would come on and I could watch them. Uh, and I usually get to be like one of the first people that watch his video. So, um, so I mean, I watch quite a bit of his. And he's like really one of the first that I started engaging with and commenting on. I, cause he's pretty interesting. And he's got a lot of stories to tell and uh, his taste in music and mine don't really line up but but it's pretty informative uh, as to what he's showing um, tunes from the man cave Chris I mean he's pretty good he's my he's my uh, my jazz guy connection along with Ken McCall jazz vinyl lover those two guys are my jazz guys that's where I go to get all my information that's what I need from them uh, uh, let's, let's just see. You know, of course, the ladies. Uh, Hannah, Omaha introvert. I watch her. She likes a lot of the same music that I like. Uh, I had no idea there was a thing called shoegaze. You know, I knew the music. I have all the albums. I didn't know what it was called. I just thought it was cool stuff, but uh, she explained what it was. So, thank you, Hannah, for that. Uh, Melinda Murphy. She's my rock and roll gal. She knows all that stuff. Van Halen nut job. Um, but she's really nice and she has columns in her house like Roman Cathedral or something But she, she's really nice. I like her uh, and uh, Clarko vision I Have a hard time understanding <laughs> some of the ties, but I, I watch her all I watch her quite a bit She's pretty pretty interesting and pretty neat uh, DJ Trish she has got a wide variety of stuff to, she talks about, and she uh, likes to uh, engage with people. So she's commented quite a bit on my videos, and I, I, I go back and forth and comment with her, and I watch her channel too. It's pretty interesting. She really likes nature and wildlife and uh, streetscapes. I used to uh, I do a lot of photography stuff in my uh, spare time. You'll see the big old camera back here, and if you've seen my normal shots on the couch, that big case right next to me is full of cameras, antique cameras. So. Um, I tend to collect them I, almost as bad of a problem as uh, collecting records so uh, B-side records you know soundtracks She's, I mean that's one of my areas too that it's like I, I'm a sucker for any soundtrack that I see I'll pick up so uh, good information there um, some of the guys you know I'm just don't be offended if I don't mention it doesn't mean I don't watch I'm just thinking of the, some of the ones that like especially this week that I've watched a lot. Uh, you know, Noble Records is on there quite a bit. Uh, he's actually doing a live thing right now. I was watching him for a little bit on there, but I decided I might come on and uh, uh, just talk about uh, some things. I just, you know, working all day, I'm just like, I need a break. So I need to, I need to engage a little bit with the vinyl community. So. Uh, Noble Records, Bob Bradley. I mean, I gotta say, the first time I watched this guy, I'm like, he's nuts. <laughs> But, uh, I, you know, I find myself, you know, I'm, uh, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, you, you click on a channel, you get the first impression of it, and it's like, ah, you know, whatever. But I, I, so I 
deliberately make an effort to subscribe to everyone no matter what okay and then I'll give them another chance but if I if they get too many videos I just eh, I don't know then I'll, I'll I don't actually think I've ever unsubscribed from anybody before and I have tons of them and I, yeah, I watch them as they pop up all the time but I like Bob Bradley he's got uh, a, a very unique attitude and uh, he, a great musician too. He's always got a cool guitar behind him. Uh, he finds some of the coolest records on there and I just like the way that he engages and does his videos. So keep it up, Bob. Uh, you know, Cosmic Vinyl. You know, I could do that to my beard too. But then that, I'd be like copying, so I better not. But he's pretty cool. I like Skelly, by the way. You need to keep him around. Have him uh, be your co-host on there. Uh, let me see, who are some of the others that I watch? Richard Riley, man, he's got a huge contest come up. If you haven't seen it yet, check out for it. It's, he's giving away some big, big prizes. The uh, $300 uh, gift card for records, 200 and a 100, so. And uh, it's a little, you'll have to just go and find out what the subject is, but. I'm trying to think of how I can do that, but uh, I'm entering it, so we'll find out what it is. Uh, let's see, who, Vinylverse, another good channel. Billy Hurst, Billy Hurst got a ton of, I mean, that guy's whole basement is full of records, eight tracks. I need to watch some of his, I have some eight tracks, but they're broke. I need to watch, hopefully he's got a video on there on how to fix them, so I'm gonna have to check into that. Uh, I do actually have a pretty decent eight track player. Don't ask me why, I only have like five or six eight tracks, but. Uh, we'll get into it. Um, Jeff Kempen. Jeff Kempen's another good one. DJ High Noon. Uh, Dan's Vinyl. This is my brother from Missouri. I got a couple guys from around the area. We didn't do it like a meetup or something sometimes, but Dan's, uh, I don't know, a couple hours east of me here. And then you got my brother from another mother. I spelled his name differently too. Tavis. Uh, he lives right here in Kansas City somewhere too. Uh, some great, great records and great showing, so. Uh, who else? Buddy Eric Winebender. I mean, if you haven't watched his channel, he's just entertaining. I mean, he and this guy, I don't, he's got so much different kind of music. It's just like, you know, he can pull out anything, you know? Uh, you know, he'll be talking about some psych rock and then the very next thing, just to, to make a point or a joke or a jest or something, pull out some Peggy Lee album and say, you know, to make a point about it. But the, the fact is that he actually would have that tells you a lot about his his uh, music collection that he must have there. I don't know, I haven't actually looked to see if he's got like a, a music room video or not, but I'll have to check into that. I'm kind of interested to see what his record collection really looks like. Um, let's see, I, you know, here's another channel. You know, there's, there's channels that I watch too that musical taste wise, we don't really have a whole lot in common. I mean, there's like, I'm not really into the whole death metal, you know, metal and, you know, heavy metal or any of that stuff. Doesn't mean I don't like it. I just don't have any of it and I don't know what to look for. It's just like, you know, I'd like to have a couple of albums around because there's always that time where you just need I need to bang some head and, you know, get into it. Uh, but uh, Mega Jeff Mc... What's his name? Oh, now I, I closed out all my subscription. Mega Jeff McRock. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, mostly uh, Christian uh, heavy metal stuff, which I had no idea that that was such a big... You know, I've known that all that was a, a, a big deal, but... And when you start actually digging into it, it's like huge, a huge scene of that. So I find his channel very interesting. He's very detailed about his description and his um, presentation of the, the music that he watches. So I already mentioned, but uh, you know, it's right here on my list. Jen McCallop, the jazz vinyl lover. I mean, this guy has a wealth of jazz knowledge at his fingertips and is really very informative, but he is like no nonsense, quick, goodbye. Here's the information, see you later, gone. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, there's just so many. Uh, you know, again, don't feel bad if I don't uh, mention your name. I guarantee I watch it, and most of you have uh, um, com we've commented back and forth. 
Uh, Randall Weaver, he, you know, we he comments on quite a few of my videos, and I, I also watch his, and he's uh, he's got a very uh, in-depth um, commentary, and uh, you know, wide depth of the, the records that he uh, likes to show, and his collection uh, seems to be pretty good. I really enjoy watching his too. Uh, new uh, new channel I started watching here just a few days ago was is uh, Bay's DJ. Un, I, I don't know how to say his name, but I, I believe he's in Germany, a uh, DJ, uh, and, and he shows a lot of um, ambient type, uh, electronic, uh, techno type music. Let me switch this record over real quick, okay? Um, you can enjoy the eagle. Yeah, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, but you know that's the problem. You, you know, you know I like I like high end nice turntables, but you know sometimes it'd be nice if they could just change their own damn thing. You know, I don't like I can walk up and do it. I'm a lazy ass sometimes. I just wanna. But I got like a bazillion CDs I could put in. I just don't happen to have this one. I, I really like this. This is what I wanted to listen to tonight when I got off, and it's like. Louis Armstrong. Why does people bag on Louis Armstrong so much? Man, I think he's great. Does that scat talk like nobody else? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, Fit to be Tie-Dyed. He's another very informative guy. I mean, I like his stuff. He's got a lot of, uh, a lot of good things on there. Oh, uh, da, da, da. let me just say, you know... Let me just go through my list. I already mentioned Mazzy. Mazzy's, man, that guy's got a record collection and he's got a story to tell about every single record he pulls out. It's like, you know, but I guess, you know, if you're in the industry, you get a lot of that, uh, a lot of the information to go with it. So, I mean, I've liked him from ever since I started watching it. I mean, the first video I watched, uh, it came up, it didn't start right in the middle. And he's like, well, what the? <laughs> just going on some rant that F-bombs like, whoa. But he's like a, a gruffy kind of guy, but he's he's pretty knowledgeable. I really like him. He's one of my favorite channels out there. Which uh, which also brings me <laughs> to Vinyl Richie is pretty interesting too, but he's like a, a rabid pork, he's about as cuddly as a rabid porcupine, but uh, he seems like a pretty nice guy. And I, I mean, one of my top uh, channels to watch, he's very informative and he's uh, got some insight into music that I really like. Um, one of the very first channels that I started watching, I haven't seen too much on lately, and I'm kind of concerned there's things going on there, which, you know, I hope it gets all worked out, because this was really one of the guys that I first started watching that he's very genuine and appreciative of all the music that he comes across, and just a very nice uh, channel to watch, and that's the Odd Box Topper. I haven't seen too many uh, videos lately, and I think there's things going on in his life, but... And I hope things are better from that because I really enjoy watching him. And it's like every time his would pop up, I mean, that's definitely one I'm going to watch right off the bat. So I hope everything works out for you. I hope you're doing okay, buddy. Uh, let me just look real quickly. I don't want to... Uh, oh, Chris has the spins. I haven't even... I completely forgot about him. Uh, yep, and it's like uh, another good channel. Brock P. Dub. Everybody knows. I mean, he's got some information. I like his Tales of the Dead Wax, where he digs into some of the, the label-related stuff, uh, which reminds me of uh, Poetry on Plastic. That's another one I listen to. Not, not He's very knowledgeable. Um, he's got a wealth of uh, uh, information uh, from a, a standpoint that I like, it's classical music, because actually, you know, most of, a lot of what I have is classical, and I really like classical. It's just that, you know, it's kind of hard to talk about that, because people are like, yeah, who, you know, who wants to hear about Beethoven or something like that? But um, it's good stuff. If you don't have any Beethoven, I mean, I would recommend everybody go out and buy, find some Beethoven. If you can, you know, get one of the cheap Beethoven box sets and you'll have everything covered in that one set. And it's got the whole range of classical music in there. Uh, as I say, I'm just gonna go right down my list without spinning the black circle, black beans and rice. Uh, for you Beatles 
people that like the Beatles, other than Mazzy, I mean, he's got, he's a Beatle freak for sure. I mean, you know, this guy's got paint chip off the bathroom, whatever. It's not the bathroom. <laughs> but another one, another Beatles freak, uh, Rachel's Records. She's a young gal. Um, but almost every video of hers is about talking about the Beatles records she found or the ones that she needs to find. So pretty interesting. I like her. Uh, there's a guy I like from Israel, Mr. Eli Records. I, I, I just love the way that this guy talks, and he talks a lot about some shows a lot of like psych records, and and he talks like this, and it's really funny. I, I mean, to me, it's hilarious. I like it. He sounds like a, I don't know. My, uh, I have a friend uh, uh, who's from in Germany. He's a professor, but he talks just like him. It just sounds like that. And it's just like it's just kills me um, every time so uh, I'm just gonna read some names vinyls for miles uh, blues guy vinyl uh, the, the happy hippie the vinyl lover Clark revision we already mentioned her Ron Haggerty Memphis vinyl Matt Hayes Matt Hayes likes a lot of the same stuff I do I like his his show he's got some good stuff on there um, Farley's nerd cave I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip over some of the real big channels. They don't need any advertising. Gregory Lisa, she's kind of funny. She's kind of has videos all over the place too. I like her. Um, Hogs Ear Report. That guy knows psych music. He's got a lot of good stuff too. Uh, Bobby Gas, Black Star Vinyl, Bad English Rex. Anyway, just some of the, just some of the highlights there. Um, one of the channels I want to mention too, like I said, I watch a lot of channels. Where's this guy? I gotta get his name right. Um, I watch a lot of channels. There's some channels that I watch for strict, mainly for information, just because they have a lot of information, and they they dig deep, like Baraka P Dub. It's full of information. He digs deep and he gives you the technical. Uh, rundown and aspect of what, what what he's talking about and it's I, I find it very uh, enlightening uh, and it builds my uh, music and vinyl knowledge base okay and then there's other that I watch for entertainment purposes and you, they also talk about records which are funny like cosmic vinyl <laughs> it's hilarious um, all of his videos are entertaining if you haven't watched them yet you need to I mean he's a funny guy He'd be quite the kind of character to go hang out with sometime. Um, but one of the channels that I've started watching here lately, and I, I'm pretty sure some of you have seen it, and the very first video, I just like, what the fuck is this guy? He's crazy, man. Uh, but then when she start watching, it, you have to watch a few videos, and I totally get his sense of humor. Uh, and I think it's probably the most entertaining vinyl related channel on YouTube right now. I, I, this is like my number one favorite one to watch when I come out, but strictly for entertainment purposes, cause it is funny. Now I've seen a lot of people poo poo in his videos and, and that's fine. That's, it's a complete taste, but I would, I would recommend you give it a chance because I mean, it's hard to tell if he's. If this is how he really is, or if he's deliberately being like this. Now, the records he's showing are crap. I mean, it's like uh, the cheesiest crap you could find at uh, any thrift store. But he's got stories and jokes and stuff to go along with each one of them. So, but it's like in, in a, a type of wit that it takes work to do that. I don't think this is just like off the cuff stuff that he's just coming up so i mean i don't know i i think it's funny though so but that's uh rando's what's his name rando's retro records okay and i'm pretty sure you've seen it uh he's got the like yeah, in the corner of his basement with the green piece of tarp hanging down right in the middle and uh, uh and just going off the wall talking about whatever i mean it's like it's pretty funny. I think it's hilarious, but if you're going there for in-depth vinyl knowledge, that's probably not the place to get that. So, but it's hilarious. So, 
uh, keep it up. I, I, I enjoy your videos, so I'll, I'll be your subscriber to the end there. And he's only got like 25 or something. It's not very many at all. And I can tell you, when you, when you start trying to at least get through one whole video, okay, uh, and then you'll hopefully understand his sense of humor, but you might not, and that's perfectly okay. Um, but anyway, sorry about that. I'm just kind of rambling. I just kind of wanted to just to show uh, or talk about a few of the channels that I watch. Also, hey, there's a, a channel that I've run across strictly by accident. It, I mean, there, there's a ton of subscribers, so I'm sure a lot of you know about it. But if you're into jazz um, and you like uh, Bill Evan, Evans per, particularly, there's a channel that I, I popped up. Uh, it's the Bill Evans Archive. Uh, search that out if you haven't never seen it before but on this is a whole bunch of actual uh, film of you know Bill Evans and a trio you know setting up and talking through what they're gonna do and then doing the live recordings and stuff or just interviews which are fascinating to me um, so if you're into that if you're into jazz Bill Evans and you haven't heard of that channel check into a Bill Evans archive so there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff on there uh, and there's like live videos or not live but I mean you know recorded videos of jam sessions and then you know talking you know going through and setting up the recording and talking to his players and how he wants everyone to sit um, so it's just interesting but anyway I just want to come on and say hi it's been a long week a rough week don't have a lot of didn't really have any records to show. I just wanted to give a shout out to some of the people that I watch. Uh, Randall, keep it up. I look forward to your videos. It's pretty funny. Especially right now, I need the entertainment. So uh, it's going to be a long week. So the rest of you, enjoy your channels. Uh, I comment as often as I can. I, I see a lot of you comment back. So I'm, I'm glad to engage with you. Uh, I hope we can share some more records and more uh, music experiences done. And I'm looking forward to learning and uh, getting recommendations on other records from a lot of you. So I hope you have a good week. Good weekend. I don't even know what day it is. Is it like Friday? Friday night? I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.